Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing some snail mail ideas for Valentine's Day as well as showing you the cocoa merino dyes that I used for this month. And then at the end I'm going to show you a really quick tutorial you can do like ephemera pockets or you can use it as a tea holder, like a tea bag holder. So um, you're not going to need these dyes for that tutorial. So I'm going to start with showing you the dyes that I used. So this month's Coco Reno is called Hearts, and they are full of hearts, and they're beautiful. When you see all the bling that I'm going to show you, you're going to love this. Uh, these dyes are just so simple, yet really create some really nice pieces when you're sending out snail mail and things like that. So this is the um, dyes. And here's the stamp set. So this is, if you uh, are subscribed, they're two different subscriptions, but this is the background for the hearts and then the cutest stamps ever, I have to say. These are probably my favorite ones and I love the little bear and the heart. Sorry, it's a little funky because I, tr I played with some of them, so I tried to put it on okay, <laughs> but uh, they are really just adorable this month. I really love them. Um, and I've been asked how they stamp. They stamp amazing and I'm gonna show you how easy. I'm not even a stamper and I'll show you how easy. You can't really mess them up and they're very clean. And you'll see them on a couple of my projects too. So now I'm gonna show you some of the fun little projects I created. So I'm gonna start with the little box die right here that I use. So this is a little box die, and I also use this die here, and just created this pretty little 3D pouch, really easy to make. And I also created this one, and I used the heart that came with it, but look at how beautiful this heart is. This is definitely my favorite one for this month. I always have a favorite every month, and this is the one that I seem to be using more frequently, but it comes out so whimsical and just really adds that pop to your project. So those are the little like bags. And I wanna show you an example of the stamp. So this is just a really easy example. So this is so simple. It's cello bags, a little heart marshmallows, and I just put the stamp, but look at how clean it comes out. It's just like a little teacup, I guess, and I just thought it was so sweet. Like if you put something like this inside of a mug, you know, for Valentine's Day um, or something like that. And I just want to show you how simple it can be to uh, create something. So I didn't decorate this one too much because I kind of just like the simplicity of it, but I just added this little... XO die that was in here and I put, put it on this bag and of course you can put twine around it but it really changes the bag uh, from being just some polka dot one to a really fun little Valentine's bag. Of course you could put like red twine around it and tags but I just wanted to leave it just like that. I did a couple of simple ones like that and this is another one. It's just a little glassine envelope and I used the love die and just put it on there, but how pretty would that be inside of an album? And I wanted to show you the stamp. Look at how cute the little bear comes out. Sorry, I got glitter everywhere, but this little stamp is just adorable. And then here's just like a little tea vellum shaker thing I made, but I wanted to show what it looked like with the stamp. Again, super clean and crisp. I am not a professional stamper, <laughs> but really pretty. Now this is a really fun project. So I used a flat craft bag, okay, with like no gazette or anything. And what I had done is take just the glitter cardstock and glued it on. So kind of like you're doing a loaded envelope, but I just cut the top. If I can find similar bags of size, I'm gonna try and link it. But I literally cut the top and then just pasted it on. So you can make this really pretty blingy pocket. And you see that's the shaker thing we created the other day. But isn't that really beautiful? This is what I mean by bling. I just couldn't stay away from the glitter this month. Uh, and I have to say, Valentine's is one of my favorite Hallmark holidays. Um, I know some people think it's like kind of a waste, but I don't feel like there's anything bad about one reminder out of the year to slow down and just say, you know, I love you. So this is just a really cute idea to send someone. 
and this is going to be the tutorial that we're going to do today which is the ephemera pockets and look at how cute so this is just simple idea too is you take these little bags and look again i'm using the dies i glued it on here if you have a really nice glue it will dry up pretty nice and i just added it on the cello bag and again, these will fit tea packets. This was a tutorial from like 10 years ago I found online and um, that's what it was meant for, but I thought it would be really perfect just for goodies. And it's a really quick five minute tutorial. You don't need the dies for this. And this was the other one I created. And then inside, again, I used more of the Coco Reno dies and I added that on my little embellishment. So I thought it came out really fun and I just wanted to show you, you know, it can have a little bit of depth and you can stick it in there just fine. So that is that. And I'm really quickly, before I do the tutorial, uh, I had been requested to show how to use the um, heart die because they're having a problem with the heart pocket. So I'm gonna do that really quick too. So this is that heart uh, pocket die. So all I'm doing is folding it up. Okay, so when you fold your die, just like fold all these little pieces in and fold this little tab in and all you're doing is gluing that. So if you're having a problem with this die, do your little folds and glue this right here. And that's gonna give you that little pocket Okay, and then this is just kind of like a, if you want it to look accordion, so you don't really have to fold that in, but if you want to, you can, or you can just leave it really, so you see how I did this? I just want people to get a clear idea of how you do this, so just like that. Okay, okay, so moving along, I'm just using a tiny little scoreboard because that's all we need today, and little things okay so I'm just gonna what you're gonna do is take a four by sorry four by six and a half paper okay so four by six and a half and then at the four inch score line we're gonna score it at half an inch and three and a half inches so very simple we're just getting our little outer edges for a pocket so four I'm sorry, half an inch and three and a half. Okay, and you're just gonna have those two lines. One, sorry, you can't really see. One right there, one right there. So now we're gonna turn it to the side at the six and a half inch score line, and we're gonna score it at three and a half. So now you wanna kind of watch because I'm trying to see which side I'm gonna fold up. So that's gonna be upside down. So the part folding up is gonna be the shorter side. So I'm gonna go ahead and score it at three and a half inches. So that's gonna be my little fold up right there. So you see, that's how it's gonna look. And I love this because it's really easy. We don't have to really cut a lot at all. We're not cutting down the strips or anything like that. So go ahead and just Fold your scores. And fold them really good. Okay, now all we're going to do is at your little score line right here, we're just gonna cut this tiny little uh, triangle out. Okay, just like this and we're just gonna do the other side kind of like you do those pizza boxes you know but this is gonna be flat so you see how that is so now we're just gonna take your top corners right here so the longer side not the shorter side and go ahead and corner around those so it's not so sharp Sorry, I probably should have done this before I scored it. Okay, and then you're gonna fold the longer side in and fold this up. And we're going to actually glue this on the back. 
So it's so much easier than just like cutting and you're just gonna do it on the back. So make sure it's really flat and or else it will fold up a little bit. So get that really down and then put the other side down. And then you're gonna have this easy little pocket. So how fast is that and nice? So now I'm going to um, just take some embellishments. So here I have this little die cut. Let me grab my phone tape because I always like it to pop out a little bit. And I'm just gonna pop that on there. I love this, love you waffle lot. So pop that on there like this. And then I cut out some of my Coco Reno little pieces. So I'm just gonna see kind of if I have the space for this. So I think I'll do that. And these are very thin dies, but they cut out nice. It's not like, you know, some of the really thin, thin lit dies get stuck and you're just sitting there. But for any newbie, if you buy have a subscription like this, you need this. You need one of these little picks to poke the dies out because otherwise it is a little difficult for anyone to use little intricate dies and have an easy time. So you can get them for like $3 at Tuesday morning or online. But it's really um, an important tool to have for anyone because I see a lot of people on my channel who said they're new to the paper world. So please, if you have a dye machine, spare yourself and get like one of these tools to poke out the dies. They're really inexpensive or use a pen. Actually an alternative if you're on a budget is just use a little pen, straight pen from your sewing kits and things like that. Okay, so that is that. And then I'm going to take some twine to put that in there or on there sorry I'm gonna wrap it around now at the end I'm gonna show you a quick little stamp uh, just me stamping a tag real quick I want you to see how easy it is to do that. So I want this to be kind of long because I'm going to put the little dangle hearts on there. So it's going to actually put this aside just a little bit. Okay, and then I just punched out two little hearts right here. I'm just going to put on the ends. And this is going to I'm not gonna be able to move this a lot when I do this because it has to dry. So I'm just gonna push that on here. But while I stamp, it should give us time to really look at it. So I'm just gonna let that dry for a second. And I just cut out a tiny little tag so I want you to see how well that the stamps work. So this is my favorite ink to use. I've put this in a few of my videos. So let's pick out a stamp. Let's pick out one I haven't used. So I haven't used this cupcake. So you can see it's clean. I have not used it. And I'm just gonna add it on there. Make sure I get the ink on there so I don't humiliate myself. <laughs> Okay, and I'm just gonna stamp it on here. And I just kind of rub my finger on the block and pray that it's gonna come off. So there you go. It's right there, but see how easy? I mean, I don't really use any special tools and this block is like a decade old. <laughs> so you don't need anything crazy. It's very easy to stamp with these stamps. Okay, and I'm hoping this is done now. So there you go. Really easy project, but you can do this for, you don't have to use my measurements. That's just the idea. You can use any size paper you want to make this uh, little pouch and 
make it bigger, but it's just, you know, the idea of the concept of doing this, how easy it is. Okay, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed these projects and this tutorial. I will see you soon.